Bimin, do you know what it means to focus? Do you know, um, is it Charles Cooley on the looking glass theory? I am not, <laughs> I am not, it's something about I am not who you, you say I am, I am not who I think I am, I am who I think you think I am. Mm. My name is Ola, I'm so okay, I can't like be. What's your other name? Not your business. Yeah. Okay, one of my names is, um, Onukepo. what? One who is cared for by many. I'm about to shatter the glass of the looking glass theory. So basically, who is gaming? So guys, <laughs> damn it! So guys, it's as far as we gaming, but unfortunately, a lot of there are a lot of faces here that are not gaming. Anyway, so where are we going to today? Oh, um, I'm going into work. We're chasing some BTS for Dani TV today. For love like this, oh, in case yeah. you haven't seen it, go yes. watch. It's the season finale today. Well, the end of an era. How do you feel now that the show is over? It's emotion. I mean, that was the final episode for season one. We haven't been renewed yet, so we don't know. But it was cute. You know, brought out all the feels for me. I'm gonna miss these guys a bit. Okay, let's start with you giving us like a background gist for those who don't know. You know, tell us who Bimi is aside being an actress. Um, I was born in Badagri, lived most of my life in Badagri. So, oh, for real? yeah, I just moved out of the house for uni. I first went to Crawford University to study to biochemistry for a year. I went to the high school. That's so great. Congrats. <laughs> I studied biochemistry in Crawford for a year and then moved to Unilag for medicine. Yeah, um, I'm uh, currently a 500 level medical student in the University of Lagos. Unfortunately. Then, um, what else is there to know about me? I don't really like to talk about myself. I prefer for people to experience me. Let's talk about how acting started. Is it something you've always planned on doing? Like, did you ever think about acting? Or like, did it come to you? Did you go to it or did it come to you? You know, you pursue a career. Did the career pursue you? Or did you pursue it? Did you ever think about it? Um, well, you know, the funny thing is, I remember saying as a kid that, oh, when I grew up, I want to be a doctor and an actress. I, remember, I said that as a kid. I used to do dramas in school and stuff. So everyone was like, ah, how have you combined it? So I'm like, I don't know. It's just what I want to do. And then I completely forgot about it when I got into medical school. I was literally just focusing on school, trying to focus on school. And then, I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, I saw this thing on Instagram, like actors that look like age 15 or something, she's sending their pictures. And I literally just did. I wasn't trying to be an actor, I wasn't trying to do anything. I was literally just a bored kid with nothing to do. So I did that and they called us for like in person auditions and I got it. And that was my first film ever. Something about me is um I love to experiment. I love to try new things like so much. That's why I always order rubbish whenever I go to a restaurant. Because I always want to try something I don't know. So when I was doing it, I was already doing a lot of like weird things in school by that time. I was modeling, I was just, you know, my friends and I... Model. 
That was a lifetime. I told you've you I've lived, lived many you've lives. Lived many lives. Like you've actually lived many lives. So like who did you model for? Like what brand that you worked with? Um they were mostly um collaborative creative photo shoots that I did. Like Bisola Michael. She recently just sold one of our pictures as an NFT. So and are you getting a cut? I already did. Oh good. So will you take me to lunch? Why should I? All right, fine, no pee. So as an actor, do you feel like it's difficult to find your own identity? You know, especially since you guys are taking on different roles, characters, personalities. And do these different characters, do they actually affect you guys? 1,000%, definitely. Sometimes um, we struggle to find who we are underneath all the characters we've played because if you're a good actor, you're... You're carrying on the soul of the character you're portraying and those things can quiet down your own spirit somehow because you don't need your own spirit right now you need to be possessed by the spirit of that character that is what it is so obviously it pushes you down it pushes your so after after projects especially really heavy projects if you have seen my film the aside i did that movie and i had to get into a particular space it it explores um, sexual assault and all of that. And um, after that movie, I just had to take a break because it felt very heavy on my heart. You know, like, it does, it does. Uh, I'm good at, like, everything I tried. And everything is nothing. This, this three. I like fashion. 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 You can style, but do you style? Yeah. <laughs> I don't style other niggas. Like, I don't even myself because I'm an icon. Yes, you are. I icon. icon live it. So, uh, oopsies. I just, I don't have to put the image I want to I can write, I can paint, I can do most of the Hi world! Hello Lagos! You may all know me as Maka, but hi, I'm Demi Akinlade. Yeah, and welcome to Andani TV Spotlight on GT Cold Food and Drinks Festival 2022! Whoops! Good. Now, how many of these things can you start monetizing? I wish I could fetch you bigger and bigger box. Right now? Definitely not things. Mm-hmm. working day you know yes oh. where <laughs> stop i'm tired let's go get lunch yes, yes. Oh, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> let's go get some dinner i guess yeah. try to eat dinner before seven so 
so my tummy doesn't hurt not even about that because i don't mind being fat you know winning the pool is cute as fuck you know what i'm saying but it actually hurts when i eat too late so i would look at this guy now I told you every single time, don't you worry. You would always call me at the wrong time. So you can know what I was up to. Oh, don't you get that? It's just stupid. I have this show on my channel where I invite people to do things like post things on their bucket list, face a fear, blah, blah, blah. So I want you to tell me up the top of your head five things on your bucket list, five fears you have. So that's five things you want to do but you haven't done and five things you haven't done because you are scared to do it. Okay, um, bucket list, travel the world. That's the only thing that I really care about doing. Traveling the world. Maybe, uh, nah, I don't know that boy's jumping and shit, I don't want to die. Probably fly soon. <laughs> what else? Uh, probably fly in a hot air balloon. That's, that seems cool. That's pretty much it. Then my fear is, I probably wouldn't have found being a snake. I don't like water very much, so swimming and But I love the beach, so. I don't want to do that. I don't like that. At what point would you feel like, yeah, I've got into the peak of my career? Maybe when I'm like a HBO original. <laughs> when I'm the star of a so HBO original. Now, so. you're acting, your career goes. For now, that is not the goal. That is, that is the start of the goal. Tell me one thing that's very important to you. Friendship. Friendship is really important to me. Somebody said uh, friendship is the key to happiness. and Everybody's searching for happiness, but the key is right there in your friends, man. The people you spend your life with. And I think I'm lucky enough to have discovered this early enough. Yeah, friendship. Friendship is very special to me, it's very dear to me. This place is gorgeous, guys. This is literally one of my favorite places in the whole of Lagos. My favorite. I love the beach. I love the beach. And this happens to be a pretty beach side. Considering the fact that I grew up in Badagri, with like a ton of beaches, even though my parents are always freaking out whenever I told them I wanted to go to the beach. But I think that's why I love beaches so much, man. They probably remind me of home or something. It's so cool. Love of my life. My IO. Don't cry, yo. I need it. And shy, yo. <laughs> Do you dream about being famous worldwide? Um, well, that would be nice, I guess. I mean, I see the world as small anyway, so when you say worldwide, it's, it's not a crazy dream to me. It's just an eventuality, you know. But fame is not my primary goal. It's not my, it's not my driving force. It's not, it's not the reason I do any of the things I do. Fame is just a byproduct. What I actually care about is creating excellent art. That is... That is that is what sets my soul on fire <laughs> you know like obviously when you do 
some of the things I do, fame is, you know, it all come eventually. But everybody wants to blow without even doing anything, and that's nice. Blowing is nice, but I'm almost scared. <laughs> I'm almost scared of fame. Almost scared. Yeah, and um, to me, fame is fame is kind of like a prison. That's also like one of the reasons why. I'm almost scared because people create a version of you that meal that is most likely not you to be fair and I have a problem with trying to fit in with what people think of me I'm not that person like I'm literally gonna do only whatever I want like I don't care what you think of me and stuff I trust my own discretion enough to do the things that I think are right and good and the ultimate goal is to be happy creating art, creating iconic shit, you know, creating a religion of just like being awesome, <laughs> you know, inspiring people. Yeah, that's that is what it is about for me. I'm being rich. <laughs> I love being rich. <laughs> Let me ask you a random question. So as an actor who is still emerging per se, do you believe you're living your dreams right now? Or you have to get to a certain level for you to feel like that. But I think the society and internet has influenced us so much, and I mean people our age, to be in such a rush to get to the destination that it's like no one even wants to enjoy the journey anymore. But sometimes when it gets to me and I feel like, okay, time is running out, I also start to think like, okay, Mochi, if everything should happen for you right now, what next? Well, about that, one thing I've learned I mean, considering how I started yeah. and where I've gotten so far, we think, okay, when I achieve my dreams, what more, what next? But that's the thing. As you're getting closer to where you think you want to be, your mind starts to open more. You start to imagine more things that you want for yourself. You start to know more. Yeah, Do you get So as you approach the dream that you have now, yeah. your eyes start to open more, your mind starts to open more, you start to meet more people that are doing Things that you didn't even imagine. So, you, like, you start imagining more. And they say whatever you can imagine is real. Yeah. So, life is the everyday. Yeah, life, is, life is just, life is just you get. Yeah, like, like, wherever you are now, everything you've done so far is what brought you there. Yeah. And wherever you'll be later is everything you're doing today. Every step you're taking. Every day. So that Maybe it's because of where I am now. And I need to understand that you get to a certain point And then you start to dream more. Like you said, like, you're very right. I feel like it's a place in course. <laughs> I don't think it's a Everything in life is almost like a blessing. <laughs> and a curse. You never, like, you never take time to because you always want more. You always want to go. Like, you don't even take time to marinate in the one that you've got. <laughs> you just want more. Like, okay, what's it? No, step? that that depends on the person. You know, certain people have those kind of characteristics. Like, they never said so. They never enjoyed the present. Yeah, which is almost ungrateful because I mean. You're getting to several places in life. That's something to be thankful for. I mean, if you believe in God, I believe in God. So, like, yeah. you should, I mean, I'm thankful to God for taking me to certain points I'm at in life. And I try to, sometimes, obviously, sometimes I fall short. Like, I just want to do the next thing. Yeah. Like, baby, look, you're literally on Netflix, bro. Have you appreciated that? <laughs> like, bro, like, you need to be grateful for the things that are happening now because, yeah. I mean, like I said, everybody can die at any time. So that could be the last thing that happens to you. Yeah. So like so like you need to Yeah, you need you need that. to you need to you need to be grateful for the things that happen, the good things that happen. You know? If it's choose between medicine and acting, what would you choose? If I were to choose, I would choose uh acting. Choose acting. Yeah. Yeah. I've never actually answered that question that straightforwardly. <laughs> but if I were to choose, like if I had to absolutely choose, I wouldn't choose medicine. Medicine is just a lot of work. I mean, there's you help people and stuff. I mean, I'm trying to like possibly go into mental health care and stuff. But at the end of the day, I was born to be a rock star, baby. Period. Period. Box the jeans in it. In it. Do you like heartbreak? I once experienced heartbreak. 
you want to, I can give you for free, bro. I've been heartbroken so many fucking times. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't say it well. So it's not like I enjoy the concept of heartbreak. I just never loved someone so much that I got heartbroken. And I actually want to experience that kind of love. But my mind is also prepared for the fact that it might not work out. I might get heartbroken in the end. And that's okay because for me to get heartbroken, it means I actually experienced love. I was happy. Whatever happened, whatever went down, that wasn't like obviously that wasn't that was terrible. But like for before you got to that point, you were happy. Yeah, the I happiness, the happiness is worth so, the pain. Guess, like, I, I mean, you don't happy. deserve the pain, but I mean, if you're gonna be in so much pain, then I mean, you must have been in so much euphoria. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so like, yeah, so it's yeah. not something to regret. It's not something That's to why regret. I embrace heartbreak because I know before it comes, you're literally feeling the best you've ever felt, man. If you're lucky enough for it to work out, though, nice. But we can't deny the fact that in even in healthy relationships, even in healthy relationships, there are still heartbreaks sometimes, and it just hurts like a bitch, man. But I'm a sucker for love. Like, I always want to be in love. Not in a relationship. In love. There's a difference. Because I have relationship anxiety. But, like, being in love is fucking incredible, man. I don't think there's any drug as powerful as being in love. <laughs> being in love. Not being loved, though. Being in love. Yeah. Loving somebody. But, man, it's whatever. I've never... I never regret my feelings for people. Yeah. Because they are always honest, and I don't deny my my um what's that thing? My spinal reactions to things like if something happens or if I meet someone and I fall absolutely in love with them, I don't deny it. If I'm in love, I'm in love. There's nothing I can do about it. And um, I think if we do that more, and we can just understand our feelings, like accept them, accept who we are, because it's a part of who you are. Some people have really really deep feelings really extreme feelings and some people can control theirs i'm working on like being able to curtail my excesses <laughs> but i mean if you can just accept who you are it's not a bad thing like i don't think god made anybody bad like yeah. it's not bad to feel things it's never bad to feel things so why the hell not like if you're in love be in love it'll pass if it doesn't work out it'll pass and if it works out it's gonna be the most incredible adventure of your life so what but i mean you might never find the greatest love of your life you will take a few heartbreaks here or there yeah you need to kiss a few frogs like to they say your... to find your prince or princess charming. yeah prince or princess charming <laughs> princess charming prince or princess charming <laughs> Whenever I'm talking to you, I just it just flows like our lives are our lives are so similar. I said it's so similar. We suffer a lot in the same things, and you know, it's just always nice to have someone you can relate to. So, and I love you. I love you more. I love you most because life is a competition, and I must win. Well, I win this time because I, I love you more. I said most. Sorry, I love you the most than most. <laughs> you pass English. <laughs> Comparatives and superlatives, bro. You are the loser. <laughs> um, tell me how you who I thought you were, who I wanted you to be. Did you do it all for him, or are you only playing me? I did it for you, and I couldn't see it through. Oh, Roxy, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're spinning round and round and round in my head. Hey, did you really mean the way? I'm a rock star, baby. Can I pick up my cap from the crowd? Nobody picked up. Fuck y'all, niggas. <laughs> All right, goodbye, baby. Love you.